Hello, Buzzcuts! My name is Hotsy and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we tapped into this uh, water geyser to solve our water problems, uh, only to get heat problems from it. Uh, but we have a setup here uh, for the cooling, and today we want to work on this piece that's a metal volcano and i had to make some changes last time have a bit of uh, automation uh, here uh, because what happened was that basically the the water was pumped through there and if the 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 canisters are full then the water of course is stuck in the pipe gets cooler and cooler and it eventually freezes breaking the pipe that's not what we want so i have a bit of uh, a mechanism here where uh, on the one side i check the temperature of the water coming in but then also uh, looking do i have after the shutoff uh, water in there with a filter gate so I can by basically detect uh, do I constantly have water in there or uh, is the water just flowing through and if it sits there then uh, we basically get uh, a red signal here and uh, we disable this this pump here and currently our canisters are full and we can think about what to do with this setup and i am thinking we will uh, just have quite a pool of water down here that should cool the atmosphere in there on top we will have a, a steam generator that basically then cools down the steam back into water and we will have this set up to cool uh, everything here on top and possibly also down below and as this can get quite hot we probably want to have the whole thing isolated and this one is for high so we will have a roof here and um, probably We need to go down there somewhere and I am thinking yeah maybe maybe let's bring that down a bit and then here let's fill that in because in here on top we want to have a vac vacuum do we need a vacuum actually no we don't need a vacuum we just need um, ideally we would have uh, a hydrogen gas atmosphere in here uh, for optimal uh, cooling but i think we could also do uh, this ignoring the atmosphere have a bit of a liquid down below 
and make sure that the liquid is cool enough in order to uh, cool the steam turbine. So that basically means we will have something going there. Um, then here, that's, that's probably isolated. Right. And then let's try to make this happen. And once that's gone, we can dig that part out. We can dig this out. We can dig this out and down here and then we just need to to fill everything back in and uh, hopefully until we get to that point we have the necessary uh, material to make this happen we probably also need steel and that we need a machine like this let's put it here and then um output pipe that's that's great um, and ta -ta 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 -ta. The input here. Input we have to take from from here so that then goes that way and have a bridge there and we use water cooling for this at least for now that should be uh, sufficient and now we can complete this part of the ladder and make sure that they are actually building that because currently they're stuck down here So, please go about that. All right, duplicates saved. We do have a bit of uh, high stress. For stinky. Um, Moral is okay. At least at the at the moment. Oh. Another light source in our sleeping quarters. That's not what we want. So as always uh, this will take uh, its time uh, until my tiny colony manages to sort itself out uh, what we also might add is a massage table just in case 
and uh, then we will be back uh, once we have sorted the that first part out down there part of the setup down here is done so at least now we could produce steel and we will need a bit of steel for the uh, the steam turbine but also here on this side because this liquid pump continues to break because the water in here is just too hot uh, this has an overheat temperature of 75 degrees and as you can see the water is just a tiny bit warmer um, and with that we are always lacking a bit of, uh, of power uh, because uh, for the hydrogen hydrogen generator to uh, run smoothly we would need to have backed up hydrogen all the way up to here and that cannot happen if we are not constantly um, uh, using um, things here so have we no, we have not yet uh, produced uh, the first steel, but I think we can then also focus a bit on, on this. Dig out the rest. And that should then um, enable us to get iron from the volcano and while we are at it um, let's have this pipe going here there um, which way that's the that's the output so that's going in that way that should be the right way around and then maybe down here we can have another set of of pipe This one probably wants to be something like this. Um, hopefully, we can use that for cooling purposes. Because we, while well, we can get uh, the while well, we can use the steam turbine to turn steam back into water we probably also want to ensure that the the water or the liquid down here does not heat up too much 
Um, so that's with with that loop going. Um, then here, let's also analyze that one. And this one is broke again. Let's replace it. And replacing it is better than fixing because fixing just adds material, uh, but the machinery is still hot, so it breaks faster again. So it's essentially better to rebuild the whole thing. And we probably have to do that a few more times until we get the steel that we need to build that out of steel. And I think that's the first steel we use. And uh, afterwards we will use the remaining steel for our uh, steam turbine here but as you can see we plan out the next steps so once again it's time uh, to wait for the duplicates to do their job we have produced enough steel um, there it is to have our pump made out of steel so uh, let's switch to steel and that should hopefully be the last pump that we have to place in here. And it's a bit wearisome to, uh, to refine the steel because for one this machine takes a whole lot of power and on this line we don't have that much power generation um, to go on. And then on the other hand, um, the water coming in here is at about 50 degrees. Um, once uh, it gets refined, uh, it gets near to boiling point, so occasionally uh, this breaks here so probably we will have to figure out how to deal with that as well and probably uh, we should have this set up like this so the water does not flow in this direction backlogs on this side um, but actually goes into into the cooling setup here um, on that side so we will remove the liquid pipe here um, refine some more steel we already have 200 kilograms and then we need 800 in order to have uh, a steam turbine here and we need a liquid for cooling and the liquids that we have are the various water variants uh, ethanol and uh, liquid chlorine and none of those are really good enough uh, to do proper cooling so i guess we will go down a bit here because there i can see oil and with that oil we then probably can also shift into uh, more power generation, a better setup for our uh, steel refining and so on. But that will have to wait for the next episode because this one is at the end. Hope you enjoyed this one. 
And yep, there the pipe broke again. So let's see you next time. Goodbye.